Okay, I'm fitting up a 400 watt uh, yeah, generic China made wind turbine. I don't know if there's even a model number on it. Uh, model 400S, according to the tail. Anyway, so this is going to be a very simple installation. I'm only going to have a what's that? 12 feet, 12 foot tower, and first thing I need to do to that tower is to actually weld this piece here on the end right there. Uh, I've roughed it in as far as the, that little black line around there. That's just to get me to roughly center it. I think it's a good idea if you do center it perfectly, but I do not think it's critical. So put that down and what I'm going to do is a quick weld up. Oh, just a fun fact, that little weld there is being run from two, like it's got a pretty big inverter in there, but it's got, I've only got two uh, marine batteries and 600 watt of solar. So I kind of had to wait till about midday, you know, when the sun, you know, solar production's at its maximum in order to, you know, do this quick welding job. Yeah, once again, align it. I'm using that black line that I put on there originally. And a bit of a... I'm gonna get it tacked up and then I'm gonna weld the whole thing. that up off camera but it looks like I'm getting a pretty decent weld and about the only other thing I can think to tell you about this uh, the, the tower is that it was approximately two millimeter wall diameter of the tube and I think this tube was originally from a, a, a like an inexpensive carport somebody just gave me the metal so I've got a bit of iron here, you know, a bit of uh, tubular metal iron to um, make the tower out of. So, yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish this up and then I'll get into uh, the rest of the wind turbine install. Okay, I quickly want to talk about the base I built for the 400 watt wind turbine. And... Uh, it is very simply I made a quick framework of concrete, sorry, quick framework of wood to uh, pour the concrete into. It goes not quite a foot down, so I've got a big um, you know, section of concrete, concrete for the base. And remembering this is a very small wind turbine, so I didn't think I needed too much. Um, and into that concrete, I've got couple of pieces of angle line that go down in the concrete so they're nice and secure and through that angle line I've drilled a couple of holes and I'll fit a bolt and I'll fit the the tower to that and then the tower is going to come up here and mount to this section here which you can't really see it from here but at the back of it is a, a 4x4 fence post going into um, concrete. Um, the only thing I'll say about, you know, if you're going to mount 
your wind turbines to a structure of any sort it shouldn't be to any structure that you're actually going to be um, living in especially and because the the vibrations from the wind turbine transmit into the structure but this is just a fence post so I've got no major problems here and you'll see you know at the back of that there's a, a 4x4 fence post going into concrete at the bottom and um, that's what my wind turbine's going to mount against. All right, what I need to do is to fit the um, uh, the pull wire in through the tower. So I've got a stiff wire, actually not that stiff at the moment, it's just a piece of uh, copper wire, but I'm gonna push it down the um, tower. Not super stiff, but it'll do the job. At least it did the job before when I was testing it. So put the wire in and just push it all the way down. Um, some other wires may be better, you know, probably a high tensile uh, steel wire would be better than this. But Sometimes a little jiggle. Whoop. Got it jammed up here. A little jiggle can help. And the, the wire is out the end. Let me double check you can see that, hopefully. Yeah, you can still see the end. came out the, the hole right there. There's my pull wire. So now I just got to get my uh, the wire I'm using for the, the tower, the wind turbine, which is just a 10 gauge, I think it's 10 gauge, might be 12 gauge, uh, 10 or 12 gauge um, extension cord. I'm going to cut it and wire it up to the, the wind turbine. Okay, got my pull wire set up to my power cord for the wind turbine, and now I just have to pull it through. Um, power cord for the wind turbine, I think it's 10 or 12 gauge um, extension cord, and what I used for a pull wire was simply some copper. There's probably better stuff for the pull wire, but I've got a very short tower, so it's not an issue. First bit's the hardest. Once it gets over this lip, I shouldn't have any problem. Alrighty, there's my cord. Okay, another quick short for setting up the um, 400 watt wind turbine. Uh, now, this is all they give you in the instructions. Connect three, wait a minute. Uh, connect three wires to transmission cables so they are long enough to be pulled out from the bottom of tower. So that's basically that. Um, out of the bottom of the turbine, three wires, all red. Um, so, you know, and then uh, these are going to go through the tower and then to this thing, which is the wind controller. And once again, you have three wires all the same color. So I'm guessing polarity, which one is which, doesn't matter at all. And in fact, so I had, I've got a few of these up at my off-grid place. 
and I had one that wasn't working 100% as expected and I tried swapping over a couple of these wires to see if it made a difference because when I was working with uh, three phase uh, 480 volt um, water pumps you know you could you could have a working water pump but then you switch a couple of wires and uh, it works a lot better so uh, I tried that and when I did it on the wind turbine it seemed to make no difference whatsoever so um, yeah as long as you've got three wires going out three wires um, going into it um, these wires are twisted and soldered and I really believe that's extremely important so if you can't solder learn to solder I do not think you should trust twisting alone twisting and taping and I do not trust crimp terminals so twist solder heavily tape and I'm actually going to tape that up again before I put it into the tower all right included in the kit for this uh, 400 watt wind turbine model 400s um, you know, I just did a video I showed you how I welded the this base plate onto this tube which is the tower and now it's a matter of setting up these bolts which is pretty easy just make sure before you um, tighten up the bolts fully that you have the wire pulled down inside so it doesn't get crushed as you're tightening up those bolts that's pretty easy and uh, I find I don't I'm not sure what the direction said to be honest because they're all in Chinese but I find it's easier to set the turbine up onto the tower before I put the blades on uh, I find it's yeah I'm always worried about breaking the blades with dealing with them so if I can do that it, I think it makes it safer okay now it's time to fit up the the rotor to the turbine it's fairly self-explanatory but however a couple times I've gotten confused and tried to mount the wind turbine incorrectly now you'll see over this side there's this little what, oblong shaped indentation and it matches up with here on the the hub so the blade has to go like this and a couple of times I tried to fit it the other way and couldn't work out why it wasn't working um, so yeah you're gonna need the fitting stuff that comes with the kit is a, uh, a locking nut and a bolt which is eight millimeter and uh, try to do this and show you on the camera it's kind of tricky not hard to do I would say just make sure yeah, I'm not gonna bore you with a whole lot of that just make sure that all the bolts are tight I didn't see any torque recommendations in the instructions um, however you need to make sure they're tight because there's a lot of you know forces and vibrations on this and if they're not fully tight it'll start to vibrate uh, the only other thing after I get all these put together uh, I got a big old nut that's gonna fit down in there and in order to tighten that up I'm gonna need a 10 millimeter Allen wrench which fits into the the spine or the axle of the, the wind turbine so all pretty easy fairly self-explanatory and uh, just make sure everything is tight and that goes for the what I did with the um, the base as well make sure all those bolts are tight there's a washer and a lock washer on them make sure you use them um, and yeah also don't over tighten don't break I have also broken one of these bolts trying to over tighten it so anyway that's all you gotta watch out for make sure you tighten everything don't over tighten it and uh, use the lock washers you know where you're supposed to okay just to finish off the the wind turbine 400 watt uh, 
that uh, I just got through installing. I've got a bit of uh, like that cable that's running along the floor there, and I've run along the ground. I have to uh, get it up off the ground and, and I'll just take along this fence line and protect it from the sun probably, put some sort of shielding over it. And uh, but anyway, it comes all the way back here to the uh, the wind controller. Now, a couple things with this. It's not polarized. See, they're all blue wires, so it doesn't really matter where I hook it up, as long as to one of those wires that come from the wind turbine. But then. Um, coming out of the wind controller I've got a red and a black uh, so positive and negative sorry you probably couldn't see that I've got a red and a black positive and negative and uh, you want to keep that run from here to the battery fairly short and you want some fairly large wires on it uh, so I've got some 8 gauge copper wire there going to the batteries which are just down here I'm sure you can see that battery in there so short run, fairly heavy wire is what you need. Uh, another consideration when you're doing this, so I've got 50 feet of this, it's an old, uh, it's actually 12 gauge uh, extension cord, so it's a fairly heavy duty extension cord. I've got 50 feet of run from the top of the tower to here. And that's a consideration in that if you want to uh, run you know a, a certain length of of uh, power it's much more efficient to send it in three phase which is what this is so it's coming in here three phase into the charge controller and it's coming out as uh, DC and then into the batteries so, and that's pretty much it um, oh go direct to the battery with these uh, wind controllers go direct to the battery do not go through any sort of uh, other charge controller and uh, yeah uh, what this does not only does it take the three phase power from the wind turbine turn it into a, a DC voltage that you can charge your batteries with but it also safeties the the wind turbine so if the battery gets fully charged, the wind, time will a wind turbine will actually start to um, uh, slow down, so it stops charging. And also, if it overspeeds, like if you get too much wind, it'll actually break as well. And all that's done through this thing here.